is given the next information. This question asks you to examine various polygons for which the numerical value of the area is the same as the numerical value of the perimeter. For example, a 3 by 6 rectangle has an area O18 and a perimeter O18. For each polygon in this question, let the numerical value of its area be A and let the numerical value of its perimeter be P. A. Find the side lengths S where s is greater than 0 over square such that a is p, the remarks. Uh, since it's a square, area is s squared, perimeter is 4s, and we need a to be equal to p, hence s squared is 4s, s, s minus 4 is 0, s cannot be 0, hence s is 4. The next An n-sided regular polygon can be divided into n congruent isosceles triangles. Let x be the length of each of the two equal sides of one such isosceles triangle, and let y be the length of the third side. The included angle between the two equal sides has magnitude to pi over n. Part of such an n-sided regular polygon is shown in the following diagram. This diagram. B. Write down in terms of x and n an expression for the area AT of one of these isosceles triangles. One mark. Just applying uh, formula half uh, times AB times sine of the angle between uh, them. This formula is uh, given in a data booklet. It becomes half. Uh, one side multiplied by the another, so it's x times x, and multiplied by the, the sine of the angle between them. Next. Show that y is to, uh, to x sine over pi over n, two marks. So we need y. We can apply and just cosine rule, you may apply another rule to represent y in terms of x and n. And using uh, cosine uh, rule, we get that y squared is x squared plus x squared minus 2 uh, times x times x times cosine of uh, 2 pi over n. And we can see that we can factor out 2x squared. And hence we get 2x squared multiplied by 1 minus cosine over 2 pi over n. And applying double angle formula, cosine uh, over 2 theta is cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. You may use another double angle formula to get the result directly. But I will use this formula and I get the next. 2x squared, 1 minus cosine squared of pi over n, and minus, but uh, there is also minus here, so it, it's finally plus sine squared of pi over n. 1 minus cosine squared, it's sine squared, and sine squared plus sine squared, it's 2 times sine squared, so it becomes 2x squared, multiplied by 2 sine squared of pi over n. And and hence y is square root, hence it's 2x sine of uh, pi over n as required. Next, use the results from parts b and c to show that a is equal to p is for n times tangent of pi over n, 7 marks. So let's consider area to be equal to perimeter. Area is n, uh, n areas of one triangle. So n multiplied by half times x squared times sine of 2 pi over n and it should be equal to the perimeter, and perimeter is just n y, and y is 
to, to multiply by x, multiply by sine of pi over n. And we need uh, the value so that a is equal to p and t is equal to something. Uh, and we can see that we need to uh, this value in terms of n only, so we can solve for x firstly and then substitute x and calculate the required expression. So let's solve for x it and it becomes a half x sine over 2 pi over n and you can see that it's uh, we can apply double angle formula so it becomes 2 sine of pi of n times cosine of pi of n is uh, 2 sine of pi over n and hence x is 2 over cosine of pi over n and hence the required expression so that a is equal to p is equal to something we can just uh, substitute expression for x into expression uh, for example for perimeter and get that it becomes n times 2x which is 2 over cosine of pi over n and multiplied by sine of pi over n and finally it becomes for n multiplied by tangent of pi over n as required. Next, the Maclaurin series for tangent is x plus x cubed over 3 plus 2x to the power pi over 15 plus so on. Let me write. So it's x plus x cubed over 3 plus 2x to the power 5 over 15 plus so on. E I use the Maclaurin series for tangent to find the next limit. Limit and tends to infinity of for n tangent pi over n three marks. So let use formula for tangent so it becomes for n and uh, we use pi over n for x so it becomes pi over n plus pi over n cubed over 3 plus 2 pi over n to the power of 5 over 15 and plus so on and it becomes the limit Just expand to get 4 pi plus uh, pi cubed, uh, also multiplied by 4 over 3 n squared plus uh, 2 pi to the power of 5 multiplied by 4, which is 8 over 5 and uh, n to the power of 4 in the denominator plus so on and you can notice uh, there are powers of n in denominators and hence when n is uh, infinity, infinity, infinity it's, uh, it means very large value all these terms are zeros and we get that uh, this limit is 4 pi because all other terms are zeros. And the next. Interpret yarns in part EI geometrically one mark. So we can see the situation when A is P and uh, and when N is uh, infinity or when n tends to infinity this polygon becomes a circle and area is uh, pi radius squared and uh, perimeter is uh, 2 pi r and 
from previous result is 4 pi and we can see that it's true for a radius to be equal to 2 hence as n tends to infinity a polygon a polygon becomes a circle with radius 2 the next consider right angle triangle with side length a b and the root of a squared plus b squared where a is greater or equal than b such that a is p so we consider right angle triangle a b root a squared plus b squared a is greater or equal than b and area is uh, perimeter f shows that a is 8 over b minus 4 plus 4 7 max so we need to find a in terms of uh, b since it is given that uh, a is b let's consider this area is what is just uh, half a b what is perimeter is a plus b plus root of a squared plus b squared let's get rid of the square root so we can rewrite it as a half uh, a b minus a plus b is a square root and uh, square both sides to get 1 over 4 a squared b squared minus 2 times this times this so it's uh, minus a b multiplied by a plus b plus a plus b squared is a squared plus b squared and let's add to a b and subtract to a b uh, to get a plus b squared and then we can cancel a plus b squared hence we get a over 4 a squared b squared minus a b a plus b is negative 2ab and let's divide each term by ab so we get 1 over 4ab minus a minus b is negative 2 and, uh, and we need a in terms of b so a 1 or oh, b over 4 minus 1 is b minus 2 hence a is b minus 2 over b over 4 minus 1 and let multiply each term by 4 to get 4b minus 8 b minus 4 and uh, we need to split it into two fractions uh, and I want to make a multiple of b minus 4 in numerator I can see 4b so since there is b minus 4 in the denominator I need 4b minus 16 hence I uh, subtract 16 and add 16 it's 0 so it's the same but if I split it into two fractions I get 4b minus 16 over b minus 4 uh, plus 8 over b minus 4 and you can see that it's a uh, numerator is a multiple so it, it's uh, just 4 plus 8 over b minus 4 as required uh, or you may use uh, just rules for partial fractions since uh, there is a polynomial of degree of 1 in numerator and polynomial of degree of 1 in the denominator uh, polynom of degree of 1 divided by polynom of degree of 1 is a constant hence hence 4b minus 8 over b minus 4 is a constant plus a plus b over b minus 4 and then as usual make common denominator equate numerators consider some specific values for b to find the co unknown coefficients a and b And the next 
GI by using the result of part F. It's uh, this result that A is uh, equal to this expression in terms of uh, B. Or otherwise, determine this, uh, the three side lengths of uh, the only two right angle triangles for which AB, AP, EP are integers remarks. Uh, but also there is conditions that area is equal to the perimeter and we need a b area and perimeter to be integers and area to be equal to perimeter uh, we should use this condition this expression and sides to be integers we know that uh, these sides are called uh, uh, Pythagorean triples and these uh, lengths are uh, 3, 4, 5 and multiple 6, 8, 10 and so on or 5, uh, 12, 13, uh, 10, 24, uh, 26 and so on and uh, there are other uh, Pythagorean triples, uh, but I, I remember only this. I hope it's enough. So, so what are A and B? A is uh, greater than B, so it's a uh, uh, greater uh, leg, and B it's uh, the smaller leg, and. Uh, uh, root a squared plus b squared is hypotenuse. So, a, b are integers and we need area and perimeter to be integers and they will be integers because uh, uh, sides are integers but we need additionally that area should be equal to the perimeter. So, we need just check this condition. And let's consider, for example, 3, 4, 5, a is greater like it's 4 should be equal to 4 plus 8 over uh, the smaller leg is 3 minus 4 and we can see that it's not true not true so such triangle is not possible for our conditions let's consider 6 8 10 so 8 should be equal to 4 plus 8 over 6 minus 4 it's 8 is equal to 8, so it's true. It's true. So one possible triangle is 6, 8, 10. And we need, we need two triangles, so let's check 5, 12, 13. So 5, 12, 13. 12 should be equal to 4 plus 8 over 5 minus 4 yes it's also true so another possible triangle is uh, is 5 12 13 so I read again by using the result from part F or otherwise determine the three side lengths of the only two right angled triangles for which a b a p are integers yes so the answer is 6 8 10 or 5 12 13 possible right angled triangles and the next determine the area and perimeter of these two right angle triangles one mark and using formula since it's a right angle triangle it's uh, it becomes area it's a half uh, times a b where a is one leg and b is another leg and in general it's uh, multiplied by sine angle between them but sine 
of 90 is 1 or it's actually the same formula as half times base times height so anyway it becomes a half or oh, let's write let's write that a1 is a half 6 times 8 it's 24 and a2 is a half times 5 times 12 is 30 and that's all for this question